Howdy ho, neighborino. We're here today for the next week of the BBR. You know I'm not even going to bother attempting to tell you what week it is, because I don't know. Um, <laughs> this week we're going up against the Commissioner and our good pal Mid. I know everyone says good pal, like, ironically, like, no matter who you're facing, they're like, eh, today's our good pal, this guy, but no, Mid's actually a homie. So, um, looking at the matchup, he's got Sand, Scary, he's got Necrozma, Scary, Scully, Scary, hey man! Why don't you draft some more fucking speed control, why don't you? Oh, is that a Whimsicott and a more Pico, too? Why are you like this? Who are you? Why are you? Where are you? You know, I don't know, man. Luckily for us, um, we have double-stacked water types, which straight up beat his sand. I don't, like, okay, dude, I don't, I don't want to say, I don't think he's bringing sand, because that's what his team is, is it's a fucking sand team with other shenanigans, I think. I guess really it's just the two mons, but still, like, it's just, you know, that's the, that's, that's what you get when you draft the thing. That's what you... Okay. But, um, Urshifu deals with the sand really well. It also deals with Necrozma really well. Azu, Jet, deals with sand and Scolipede uh, to a certain extent. Blastoise eats hits for days. Uh, you know, and really it's just those top three that kind of deal with the sand. But I don't know if he's even going to bring sand. I have to prep for it, obviously. But, like... He could just not bring it. I think he'll either bring sand and like it'll be like Exodrill, Necrozma, Gigalith, uh, Vaporeon, Whimsicott, and then like Milk Tank maybe to help to like he'll have the immunities for the uh, the water immunity and then the grass immunity and Milk Tank. Like I could see something like that being a thing because uh, Decidueye I think is my kill leader right now. So um, you know something like that could actually be super annoying for his team. So Sap Super Milk Tank completely walls the tits off of that. It does get like a uh, low sweep as a fighting move, but that's not really, you know, is it really a fighting move? Now let's look at what I'm bringing. Oh, I didn't even finish my thought, but he could bring sand with like that kind of stuff, or he could just bring no sand, like no Gigalith, still bring like Scarf Drill or something, or like what Rocks Lead Drill, and then like Scully, Necrozma, uh, Whimsy, you know, he could, he could completely forego the sand route and then just be like Scarf Drill plus other things. And if he doesn't bring more Pico, he is a coward, straight up. Because that's the best mod on his team, easily. Look how fucking cute he is. Look at that more Pico. He's terrifying. <laughs> but uh, we do have Urshifu here with 44 defensive investment. We are able to tank an adamant choice banded -did -did -did. Uh, earthquake from Excadrill. We don't give a shit. It's just strong as hell. I think that's after Rocks too. I don't remember. This has been a hot minute. Um, in fact, you know what? I should probably pull up my notes. I made a front office server. If that's something you'd be interested in joining, you want to help your boy out, let me know. I'll see what I can do, you know. Um, but I do have some, uh, I got some actual, like, good at the game people in there, and they're going to help me not suck, you know. <laughs> Straight up. It's been a rough season. In all the seasons, you know. Um, let me see, what do we got here for my fucking, uh, yeah, Urshi eats banded EQ, banded adamant EQ after rocks, easy. Next, we have choice banded Azu here, I don't need any speed, nothing on his team even comes close to, like, what are you gonna, you gonna speed creep me with Gigalith? I don't think that's happening, so we got as much bulk as possible, max fucking attack, just a huge, bulky, choice banded Azu. Now, we got Scarf, Ursher baby, we got banded Azu and spoilers, we got Specs fucking Toxtricity. So let's just choice all of our Mons in for no reason. But Play Rough, Jet, Ice Punch, Liquidation, Dual Stab fucking just decimates his team. Aqua Jet is really nice to pick off those speedy threats. And then also Ice Punch because Whimsicott and Vaporeon are his only switch ins to this. So neither of those want to come in on a Play Rough. So it's going to come down to 50 50s. But if I make the, if I click the right button, something drops every single time. Granted, uh, something easily revenges every single time. So, like, if I go for play rough, then he can go into drill or whatever. If I go into fucking... If I click uh, liquidation, he can go into Vaporeon. But, like, I have st I have stuff to deal with things, if that makes sense. You know, I got some bulk I can switch into after. Speaking of which, we have Fizz Death Blastoise with the lefties. Flip turn, Toxic Roar Scald. So even if this thing needs to come in, take a hit, get that 6% back and get the fuck on out of there with flip turn, we can do that. Um, obviously he has Vaporeon, which is immune to flip turn. Why am I talking so fast? What in the cocaine just happened, you know? But, um, we can Toxic that bitch, get him on a timer. If it has Heal Bell, it's going to be annoying, but I'm going to pray mid, uh, doesn't hate me as a person and won't do that to me. But, uh, yeah, man, pretty, pretty standard Blastoise. Then we got Toxtricity. Now, Toxtricity's matchup versus Sand is not great, but we just talked about how Sand might not even come, so we got Specs Toxtricity. This thing, 
so good versus them. It just clicks a button, and again, if I click the correct button, something fucking drops. Dude, Excadrill still takes half from Boom Burst. Resist, I think not. Uh, and then, like I said, we have switch-ins to, uh, switch to Excadrill and Waste to Revenge it as well, so at least I can get half off. If it's, if it's at half health, I guaranteed put it in range of Aqua Jet, so that's amazing. Um, this is mainly on the team because Whimsicott is a fucking piece of shit. Its name almost has the word cunt in it, and that's how you know what it's going to be, dude. Heckin' Whimsicott. Real piece of work. But, um, so we need to have a, a Sludge Wave and Mon, you know, a whole big thing and stuff and things. Um... Yeah, pretty standard. Then, dude, it's time. Dude, it's time. We thwacking off, boys. It's time. Look at the matchup. It's good. Milk Tank can potentially uh, live a hit, but we got Drain Punch. Whimsicott and Scolipede also are uh, things, but we have Acrobatics. Um, with this investment, let me, let me... I've just been casually browsing Discord instead of looking at the actual fucking matchups. Um, let me go back to my front office. Um, Thwacky lives adamant, life orb, poison jab after rocks 82% of the time. That's as good as I can get the roll to be without completely, uh, you know, becoming a, a physically defensive, uh, Thwacky. And that's even if, you know, he is life orb, adamant, poison jab. He might have to go jolly to deal with, uh, what's my speed? To deal with, like, Dougie. If he's fearing the Dougie, he should run jolly. He might just, and also Rapidash, I guess, too. I don't know. He could just run fucking adamant and just click protect, but I don't know. So... Thwacky kind of wins, dude. Late game. Late game, if I get an SD up, Thwacky straight up can win, which is a sentence you never thought you'd say unless you're fucking ultra player, but it can win. I'm excited to use it. I just fucking beat the fuck out of somebody with a Rillaboom the other day, and I'm really looking forward to using this. Dude, don't talk to me or my son ever again, you know? Last but not least, we have Pilo Swine here, and Pilo, the notes with this are one adamant banded iron head does not kill us with that defensive investment. The rest is thrown into Spadef to be able to... Uh, uh, to deal with Whimsicott better. I'm not too KO'd by Giga Drain from Bulky Whimsicott, so I can Toxic that thing. I shard it down. He'll Giga Drain me back a lot, but I can get that Toxic damage racking up, hit him with that Ice Shard, you know, all kinds of that shit. Get up rocks and high horsepower into uh, Ice Shard, kill the Excadrill, and as long as he's not like Shooka or just like a Fizz Death Drill, which isn't a thing and I refuse to believe is a thing. But yeah, that's going to be the team builder. Oh, would you look at that? And the Yeet Squad just assembled four minutes before this battle. Good golly. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in in this fight here with young mid all right here we are in the battle versus mid just left call internet was fucking up last time so oh my god he brought hitmonchan that's not a real pokemon he didn't bring more pico when he brought hitmonchan are you kidding me vaporeon scoli um whimsy Drill and Gigalith. Okay, so this is. I didn't expect to hit Monchan. That's actually fucking dumb as shit. Who brings hit Monchan? And he brought the sand too. I didn't think he would. I mean, it's a you know he could have and he did, but like I didn't think it'd be a big thing. We got the Thwacky. We got the Thwacky on the team. Thwacky on the beat. So if we can chip things down, we can potentially uh, do things with that late game. I kind of want to just lead with uh, Ursher Baby, you know, and then we can uh, we can do stuff from there. For Choice Scarf, we have that U-turn. We can get momentum. If he leads with Scully, I probably got to go Hard Blastoise. Still, with the old lead card there, you know, nothing fancy. <laughs> Oh shit, I need to close out of this. Yeah. Okay, the black screen wasn't that long. You love to see it. He leads with Hitmonchan. No nickname. We're gonna lead with Ursher Baby. So even if he Scarf, he doesn't outspeed us. We go for the U-turn and we go into Blastoise, I think. Yeah. I think that's probably a counter lead for... Uh, for a bunch of stuff, but mainly young, uh, what's it called? I'm just gonna U-turn. If he wants to mock punch, that's fine. I can go into Blastoise, and I can probably click Toxic, honestly. I 
Yeah, we go into Blastoise. I wish I was Rocky Helmet right about here. We're probably gonna take a lot from CC, huh? Drain Punch, okay. So he goes back to full. Twenty-eight to thirty-four. I got the lefties. How much did that do? Like forty-nine. Actually, there's no roll for. Okay, but that's with the lefties. Okay. So I think I go for toxic. I can go for flip turn, but I think. I think it goes Vaporeon on here, so I'm gonna throw for toxic. He could also just thunder punch me. He does just thunder punch me. Okay. Does a fucking heckin' lot. I get the para. Uh oh. Oh god fucking damn it. Okay, well we're starting off great, dude. We're starting off absolutely fantastic. We are starting off so good here. Um This is such a problem for no reason. Dude, this is a Hitmon channel. Are you fucking kidding me? Yep. He just does the thing. Okay, so the cool part about this is we... Well, first of all, we lose. Uh, we can go into Azu. We'll have to take a fucking Thunder Punch to the face. We can play rough him into Oblivion. We can go into... He probably has Earthquake, too. We can go into... Thwacky and do not enough with Grassy Glide. We have to go into Thwacky and click SD, which isn't the play, so we gotta go, we gotta go Azuk. This is starting off fucking horribly, guys. God damn it. So we lose Blast to Hitmonchan. And now we gotta take, for no reason, a fucking Thunder Punch. And he has switch into this too. I gotta go for play rough though. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not even gonna say what I was about to say. I refuse. He does just go for the thunder punch. Are you shitting on me right now, dude? Thank fucking god, dude. Jesus Christ. This is not going to be a good game. Hey, let me tell you right now. This is not going to be a good game. Fucking Christ, man. Pokemon's so much fun. Dude, Pokemon's so much fun. He's got Whimsicott. Luckily, we can go into Toxtricity for this. We have Toxtricity, which is uh, has enough investment to be able to live the Moonblast into the Psychic. Uh, he could also just go for U-Turn and bring out his fucking threats and ruin my day, which is probably what's going to happen. He went for the Moonblast. Okay. Okay, so... Here's the thing. He has switch into this, but I gotta click Boom Burst, dude. I think his safe play would be going Gigalith. Uh. I'm not risking the drill, but also I don't touch drill that well. I just gotta click Boom Burst. Maybe he'll just give me this. Maybe he'll think I'm Scarf. It'd be cool if he went into not Gigalith. Yeah, there's Gigalith. Gosh dang it. And I had a hunch he might do that, but there, I just, I don't know, dude. I couldn't click Volt Switch. I didn't, I wasn't really comfortable with that. We do not a lot. <laughs> we do not a lot. Um, let me see here. Because we were in with Toxtricity. We are Specs. Boom Burst does 28 to, 21 to 25. That's about, yeah. That's, we did like, well. Yeah, we did fucking, we did 21. So I think he's specially defensive. Uh, we will go into... Damn. I think we'll go into Ursher Baby. What is... How much am I doing with Drain Punch here? I do a chunk. 
I'd do a chunk. Let's go into... He probably just gets some rocks here anyways. I'm gonna go into Ursher, baby. And I think... I gotta get back in this game, dude. I might have to click Poison Jab. Feels for Toxic. That's annoying as fuck. Yeah, we do 59 to 69 with Drain Punch. So, but if he thinks I have CC, he might just go into, uh, you know, other thing. How much is Wicked Blow doing? Not, not a lot. I think we just gotta go. Fuck, man. I wanna kick. I wanna click Poison Jab here, but I don't think that's what he goes for. He does withdraw. Does he go Whimsicott here? He does. I should have clicked Poison Jab. Yep, probably should have jabbed. I just, I didn't... Fuck, man, I don't know. This is going poorly. If if these those first couple turns were uh, any, any, uh, you know, any idea to how this was going to go, yeah, it kind of makes sense. So he probably just U-turns here, you know? Like, what do I, what do I even do? I gotta sweep, I gotta say thwack, Thwacky. Thwacky's looking like the only way I'm gonna be able to bring this back, which is unfortunate to say. So I gotta go, I gotta go Toxtricity again, dude. He probably just U-turns here and goes into Drill, which is unfortunate. But I can't risk him just Moonblasting. Yep, there's the U-turn, now he brings in Drill, now he gets a kill. Oh, god fucking damn it, dude. This is a horrible game. This is a shitty fucking game. It's the game we love. It's the game we love. Yo, look, it's young Drillium. What do we sack this time? Yo, if he clicks SD, do I lose? I kind of do, huh? I think I'm going to stay in. I don't switch into this. And I can do half, even though he just easily clicks fucking Earthquake here. But in case he SDs, yep, he Swords Dances. Nice. So he'll be in Jet Range now, which is cool. That does so much. Um, this is my best sack to this too. He can just kill me. Yo, hold on. If he's high horsepower, he can miss. He shouldn't be high horsepower. I have a thwacky, not a fucking <laughs> Rillaboom. <laughs> but at least this lets me bring in Azu. He has the easiest Vaporeon switch of his life, too. Yeah, okay. He might have high horsepower, then, since he went for that. He didn't want to miss. Toxicity dies to Drill. He's life orb. Okay. So, we go into the egg. And I think we gotta click Play Rough. Which fucking sucks. Because he just always has Vape to go in, in this situation. He's got... He's got no reason to sack this, too. Does he, actually? Fuck me, dude. Do I kill with Thwacky? Worst case scenario, if I do have to come back in. Yeah, okay, I should kill. So, I'm going for Play Rough here because I think he switches out into Vaporeon. You have no reason to sack this. No reason to sack this. There's Vaporeon. Azu. Azu. Damage. That's some big fucking damage. That's some big fucking damage, dude. I don't think he can kill me from here. I just click play rough again. I gotta click play rough again, and I gotta hope he goes out into Scully and gives me damage on that or something. He goes for Scald. 
I fucking swear to God, mid, if you... He just kills me straight up. Wow. Okay, that's a strong Vaporeon. Azu dies to Vape. Um, okay, so... Here's the thing. Sand is gone. Rocks aren't up. It's time. It's fucking time, dude. It's fucking time. If he goes... Ooh, if he goes hard into either Scully or Whimsy, we live a hit from them. Like, we, we live a hit from Whimsy no matter what. But we gotta click SD here. Maybe he'll just go hard Scully, and I'll live the hit and be able to uh, kill him with the acrobatics. That would be fucking awesome. Go for SD. Don't you fucking burn me. Don't. Don't. Please, for the love of God, don't you dare. <sighs> okay. 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 It's okay. It's okay. Shh, shh, shh. This is scary, huh? So, we definitely click the grassiest of all glides here. We take out the Vaporeon. Nice. And here's the thing, dude. We are not quite at full, but we're at 154 HP. He's going to go into Scolipede here, I'm assuming. Yep. Adamant, Life Orb, Megahorn does kill me, but Poison Jab does not. So we click Acrobatics. Acrobatics into Glide should kill. He has Megahorn, no! Fucking Christ, man. You Life Orb? Yep, that's Adamant Life Orb Megahorn. Who the fuck hits? Damn it. Dude, Dwacky was looking pretty damn good there, TBH. Damn. Okay. 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 He went for the one thing we didn't live. Yeah, we don't... Yeah. Damn, dude. We don't, uh... We don't deal with this too well. We had we had the tech, though. If he wasn't adamant, life orb, fucking megahorn, we lived. Like, if he was jolly... No, we still died if he was jolly, but... He's got aqua tail. It's fine. Yeah. We get a little bit of recovery, dude. A little bit of recovery. So, hopefully the next high horsepower and ice shard will kill him. That'd be cool. Can you miss? Can you miss an Aqua Tail? That'd be cool. Nope. Couldn't be me. Uh. At least we hit our power. Okay, so Scully dies to Pilo. We get some recovery back. The only way we win this is if he goes into Whimsicott here. Actually, doesn't he have to go into... He has to get up to sand at some point, right? Oh, he just goes hard drill. Okay. I think I go hard. I think I go hard Ursher Baby on this dude. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go hard. I can save this as sack fodder for whenever uh, Whimsicott comes out. And hopefully. Okay, fuck. I might have to go for Poison Jab on this turn. He just goes Iron Head. Okay, well, it's time for 50-50, because I either kill what's in front of me. Ah, uh, I think 
Fuck me, dude. How much does Wicked Blow do to, uh... What's it caught? Um... Hold on, that's kind of a lot. He's at 75%? Wicked Blow can potentially 2 at KO. I think I got Wicked Blow here. Because he might just stay in. Or he might sack the Gigalith too. Yeah. Okay, good mid ground play. Lol. That's his name. Makes sense. Yeah, because if I did go for Poison Jab there, he could always do that. And then if I went for, uh. What's it called? If I went for Fighting Move, at least he's got the Sand back up. Okay. Makes sense. That does a lot. Approximately one chunk. Um, yeah, I just gotta go for Wicked Blow again. And get the crit of all crits on Ice Shards. Yep, so at least Gigalith goes down to Urshi. <sighs> what a game, dude. What a fucking game. Pilo Swine versus the world, baby. Baby Ray at 72. What can you do? I'm at 35%. Yeah, there's the one's caught. I have to, yeah, I gotta crit this Ice Shard. And he's gotta not have, uh... Not have Grass Move. We do neither. He's got the move. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Do we live? Fucking hell, we lived that. Pilo Swine, you absolute monster. Okay, right now. Pilo Swine, crit this Ice Shard. Do it, buddy. I believe in you. Max roll crit. Max roll crit. Max roll crit. Max roll crit. Damn it. Okay, yep, good game. I'm gonna say good game and I'm not gonna mean it, because that was fucking Jesus Christ, man. That was that was um that was not fun to be a part of. And uh Yeah, not um not fun. I would have outsped Vaporeon, I think, too, if I wasn't paralyzed, which is annoying with fucking Azu. I don't know, man. Um yeah. Mid wins, 2-0. Uh good game, buddy. You fucking, uh, Hitmonchan is a real Pokemon, and I hate the fact that it just had a hand in beating me. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, not a fun game, dude, but yeah. Um, like, subscribe, do all that bullshit. We'll see you guys next week as we slowly lose any chance of making playoffs. Bye forever. <laughs>